integral which is equal to length of a string which we are talking about. So this is a random variable. It can have values of 1 if success comes from the first place or any other integer number. Basically, it can have the value of any integer number. There is no uh, upper boundary of this. Can it be a million? Well, it means that the previous uh, whatever, 999,999 trials were failures and on the millions trial we had a success. So that's possible. The probability of this probably is low, but it depends on the probability, so in any case it is possible. Alright, so that's basically um, an explanation of what uh, the geometric distribution of probabilities is. It's either distribution between the probabilities of these events or distribution of the random variable defined on each of these variable, uh, each in, uh, of these elementary events as the length of the corresponding string. All right, let's get to some examples. Well, the first obvious example is a lottery. All right. Well, everybody knows that on average, people lose in lottery. I mean, there are certain individuals who win, but most of the people are losing, and that's the purpose why our government actually um, arranges this lottery, just to earn money, basically, right? So that's something which statistically earns money. Is it possible for all people to win? Well, yes, but statistically, considering the number of people playing, it's very, very low probability. So that's why we have this lottery. And you know, I mean, your inner voice actually tells you, hey, this is a losing game. I and mean, the more you win, the more you, you, you play, the more, the more you lose, actually, right? So you kind of resist the temptation to play. But hey, I mean, you might win, right? So let's say you have made an agreement with your inner voice that you will play certain number of times and if you, you, if you lose, you, you, you play again until you win. The first time you win, you stop. That's it. So this is a typical example of this geometric distribution. Um, so you are basically making a Bernoulli trials, which is participating in any single game, until you have the first success, the winning, right? Now, um, another example. Let's say um, a family wants to have uh, a daughter. So they uh, try and, uh, well, all of a sudden it's a son. Well, they say, okay, we do want water, uh, a daughter, so let's just try again. So they try again. Well, if it's a son, they try again until, you, you, uh, until they have a daughter. Well, if the probability of having a daughter is greater than zero, um, then, well, eventually the daughter will be born and that would be the end of this, you know, trial, this experiment, all right? So, again, the Bernoulli trial is giving the birth of a child uh, and that considered to be a success if it's a daughter and a failure if, if it's a son. So they are failing and failing and failing to give birth to a daughter until they succeed. That's also the geometric distribution. And the third, uh, the third example I, I wanted to actually talk about is, let's consider a student is supposed to pass certain test. Now, the test contains certain number of questions and uh, any random question is supposed to be picked by a student and answered. If he answers, fine. If he doesn't, uh, he fails the test. Now, let's consider that the student doesn't know all the answers, to some of them only, which means that if he will get the lucky uh, question, which he basically studied before that and knew, he would pass the exam, he would win. And if the question is unknown to him, then he will um, fail the test. Now, what if we will assume for a second that the student between the tests doesn't study anymore, so his knowledge is fixed. So a certain number of questions he knows, 
certain number he doesn't know. Let's say it's 100 questions and he knows like 75 of them and 25 he doesn't know. So there is a certain probability of success, right? In this case, it's three quarters. And um, he basically participates in this Bernoulli trials of passing the tests until the moment he passes. So he might have a certain number of failures in, be in, in, the, in the beginning and then there will be uh, a success. So that's also uh, an example of uh, this particular geometric distribution. All right, so let's talk about concrete uh, mathematics right now. We have this case, the probability of success is P and probability of failure is uh, Q, which is one minus P. And we are talking about random variable gamma with an index p, which signifies the probability. And in, we, we know it can take values 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. So what is the probability of this particular um, random variable to take the value k? Well, this random variable, as you remember, it's the length of a elementary event. So there is only one elementary event which is f, 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 s, k minus 1 f's and 1 s. This is elementary event which has the length of k, which the length of this is number of experiments. It, it has fixed results in the first k minus 1 experiments, uh, which are failures, and the case Bernoulli trial gives a success. So the probability of this elementary event is the probability of our uh, random variable gamma to take the value of k. So what is this probability associated with this particular elementary event? Well, the probability of this is a combination of probabilities of the first event, first Bernoulli trial, let's call it beta 1, is equal to failure, and the second one equals to failure, and etc. And the k minus one equals to failure, and the k's Bernoulli trial equals a uh, success. This is the probability we are looking for. Now, what's very important is all these um, Bernoulli experiments must be independent. Um, now, I probably didn't mention it before, didn't emphasize it before. It's very important. So we're talking about only independent trials. And whatever examples I gave before, like lottery or uh, uh, giving birth of a daughter or uh, a test um, being taken by a student, these are um, examples of, uh, of a sequence of Bernoulli experiments independent of each other. And in this particular case, we know that the probability of this combination of events connected with, with n, so it's this event and this event and this event and this event. If these events are independent and these beta are independent because the, each one of them is the result of a Bernoulli experiment, right? then the probability of the combination of these is equal to the product of uh, probabilities times probability of the second being f, etc., times the probability of k minus, minus 1 equals f, and probability of k is equals to s. And what is this? Well, the probability of Bernoulli experiment to be equal to f is q minus 1 minus p. And the probability of success is p. So the probability of our random variable gamma uh, in index p equal to k is q, 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 or 1 minus p, if you wish, 1 minus p to the power k minus 1 times p. So that's the probability 
of gamma taking uh, a particular value k. So, let's return to our example. Let's say the first example of the lottery when the winning is, let's say, 0 0.4. So, what's the probability of our gamma p equals to 1? So, on the first step, we get a success. Well, obviously, it must be 0 0.4, right? Because this is the first and only um, experiment which we are conducting, and it's supposed to end up in success, and the probability of success is 0 0.4. So, you might have 0 0.4, right? Well, let's check it out, this formula. k is equal to 1, so k minus 1 is 0. 1 minus p to the power of 0 is 1, times p, which is 0 0.4, which is 0 0.4. So, 1 minus 0 0.4, 1 minus 1, times 0 0.4. So, that's indeed 0 0.4, right? Well, out of interest, let's calculate the probability of winning on the third uh, trial. So, if we, by 